God bless you all. I'm so glad to be in the house of God today. It's a privilege to worship the Lord together with you. And as many of you know, last week, the Church of God Third Avenue and the Church of God New Life came together for the first Sunday physically to congregate in one place and we are no longer two congregations we are one we are one how many can do this how many can do this we are one but how many of us know that even when two people get married and become one flesh there is still a process of getting to know one another of learning about one another of not only physically being together but also learning how to communicate better how to be able to understand one another more we need to plan for the future and grow together in many ways. How many here are married? Or have been married? How many know and can testify that the marriage ceremony is not the goal of our relationship no es la meta de nuestra relación, but just the beginning pero solamente el principio of a new journey de una nueva jornada in life en la vida. in the same way y en la misma manera, our service last week nuestro servicio la semana pasada, doesn't mean that we are a united church yet no quiere decir que somos una iglesia unida todavía. but it was the first step pero fue el primer paso in our new journey together. And I want to tell you Third Avenue that we have a beautiful future together. And if we will learn to unite we will be unstoppable in Jesus. And this is going to be my goal for the next four Sundays. I'm going to be speaking on the theme of unity. And because of that today, I want to begin a series titled When the Church Unites. When the Church Unites. That's the title of the series. But specifically today, I want to speak to you on the topic God brings salvation. God brings salvation. When the church unites, God brings salvation. Let us go to the word of God. To the book of Psalms. And in this break, if the musicians need to sit down, you guys can sit down. Okay? If you want to stay where you are, you can too. Okay. Wherever you can enjoy the message better. We're going to be reading from Psalm 133. And I believe that it is a custom in this church for us to stand up when we read the word. Yes. Okay. Sometimes I preach a little different. And so we might not always do this, but so we can do this today. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Mirad cuán bueno y cuán delicioso es habitar los hermanos juntos en armonía. It is like the precious oil upon the head. 
coming down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, coming down upon the edge of his robes. Es como el buen óleo sobre la cabeza, el cual desciende sobre la barba, la barba de Aarón, y baja hasta el borde de sus vestiduras. It is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Es como el rocío de Hermón que desciende sobre los montes de Sion, porque allí envía Jehová bendición. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Father, I pray that this message that you've placed on my heart will come with the same anointing and power with which I receive. And let hearts be changed and impacted through today's message. Let there be salvation. <laughs> Let there be salvation in this house today. As we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. I'm speaking on the theme. God brings salvation. Dios trae salvación. And the passage God put in our heart y el pasaje que Dios puso en mi corazón to speak about unity to para hablar acerca de la unidad is Psalm 133. Es Salmo 133. If you look at this song, si ustedes miran este salmo, you will notice lo van a notar that it is called a song que es conocido como un cántico of a sense. De gracias por hoy. De gracias por hoy. Okay. A song of ascent. And it was written by King David. And what's interesting is that in this song that King David wrote, we're going to see three points about unity. And those are the three points that I want to speak to the church today about. And the first point that we learn from Psalm 133 is that unity is good and pleasant. Let's read verse 1. Behold, how good how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is not known. When is it that King David wrote this song? But commentaries say that maybe he wrote this song after he became Después que fue rey, and he was able to unite y pudo unir Judah a Judá with the other 11 tribes con las otras tribus after the death of Saul. De la de Saul. And therefore, y por lo tanto, David is looking David está mirando at the unity a la unidad created by all the tribes de las tribus under his dominion. Bajo su dominio. Some commentaries say that David was actually writing this song when he was looking at the people of Israel possibly celebrating one of the biblical feasts in the Old Testament and they were all together in Jerusalem in Zion and they were worshiping the Lord and so David looks on the people and he starts by writing Behold! Behold! In other words, whatever he's writing about is something that the people can see. It wasn't something that was secret. It was something that was obvious. It was public. It was something that they could see with their own eyes. And he says, Behold, how good and how pleasant the 
word good bueno that is used here es usada aquí in verse 1 is also the same Hebrew word es la misma palabra hebrea that we see in verse 2 when it says it is like the precious oil cuando dice que es como el buen olero okay good bueno in the Hebrew en hebreo can refer to something that is pleasant puede referirse a algo placentero something agreeable a algo agradable or something good o algo bueno it can be used to describe puede ser usado para describir something that is pleasant algo que es placentero to the senses a los sentidos right your eyes your sight a tu vista right your smell a tu olfato your your taste a tu gusto so it's possible that they can say así que es posible que la vida diciendo behold mira how good how good it is to the sight es a la vista to the taste a gusto to the smell a olfato to see something el ver algo that he continues to say que continúa diciendo aquí it can also be used to refer también puede usar se usa para referir to something that gives pleasure a algo que da placer
is good and pleasant. And in church, I want to exhort us to seek the unity of Third Avenue because it is something good and it is pleasant when we see it. And more than that, when God, who doesn't just look on the outside, but looks at the heart, when Papa God Coming down. 
when something comes down, it's because it was first up. Nothing comes down from the bottom. Whatever comes down is because it's coming from. Thank <laughs> you. 
So the Lord rose from the bottom. And then the same thing would happen. So the next Monday, and the next Monday, and the next Monday, and my wife said, get under all of them. And I was like, okay. And sometimes I would miss it. The timing wasn't right. But we get there, I had to be in the right place at the right time to receive the overflow of water from the bucket. God wants to pour out blessings, but He's not going to pour it out if there's no one there to receive. He's not going to pour it out if the conditions are not being fulfilled. I 
I didn't understand what was said. So I'm gonna say I'm sick. So let me see what's in my heart. I don't know if you caught that Facebook, man. Oh yes. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it just so we can sing. Life forevermore. Be not a dead man.
But they shall be called children of God. How many peacemakers are here? Do you know what a peacemaker is? Okay, there's problems over there. And there's problems over there. How can that be an instrument? To take Emmanuel. Come on, me, brother. Come on. Emmanuel, come on here. I know. Wow, two handsome Dominicans up in the middle of that. Why? Do I look prettier? You guys all are good. You guys ain't good. Okay. There's problems between Emmanuel and Edward. Two E's. I hope that you guys can get to know each other. His name is Emmanuel. I will protect you. A peacemaker. I don't, I don't like Edward. Edward, 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 Edward. He has, he wears black shirts. I don't like Edward. And I wear white shirts. So, and matter of fact, I put two shirts on. And I let my hair grow. I can't be there. Bro. Edward, what's wrong with you? I don't like it, Edward. He wears two shirts. Don't you know how hot it is? <laughs> you know what? You know what a gospel would do? <laughs> do you know what that said about you? You know what? I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm going to wear two shirts. And then, and then I'll come over here. Do you know what Edward says? I'm going to tell you. You know what he said about He said, You wear two shirts. No, I think he's just mad because your beard grows more than his right now. <laughs> but you know, what would a peacemaker do? <laughs> My wife, I know you don't like his black shirt. <laughs> but look at his heart. He's a great guy. Even though my notes are still turned on. 
Here's, here's, here's my conclusion. Here's the conclusion. And by the way, I, I spoke about in my way. But I'm thankful for the musicians that are here. So we, can, we cannot give them enough for what they do. Thank you. Because you're serving the Lord. And you can probably get a lot more money somewhere else. More attention. More influence. Church, can we thank the musicians in this house? What is going to promote unity among us? Three things. You guys ready? You're writing this down. This is what's going to help us get united. Let's encourage one another. Not criticize or gossip about one another. One. Number two. Number two. Let's love one another. And serve one another. Amen. 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 Let's pray for one another. Amen. 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 Let's be our friend. It's hard to criticize and judge someone that you're praying for.
Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that the blood of Christ will begin to break every chain. Break every chain. They overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. In the name of Jesus, Christian, be free. Be free. In Jesus' name, a fiction right now. I bind you. I cast you out. Rejection. I bind you. I cast you out. I pray right now. Let this heart be healed. 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 Heart be healed. Father, in the name of Jesus, fill us with the Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. 